Hi, I'm Beryl, and we are doing another toppings episode. This is the second episode. The first one was about white rice. I asked you what two or three toppings you put on top of your rice. The strawberry smoothie is still high up there on the unexpected. If you clicked, you know that the episode is about hot dogs. I am proud to say that I'm a huge hot dog fan. I have done a hot dog episode. Being a woman and eating a hot dog on the internet is a bold move. But this one is a little bit different. 10 countries responded, so without further ado, this is the hot dog episode. My name is Isabella, and I want to tell you how we eat hot dogs here in Brazil. You're going to top it with a mixture of mayo, canned sweet corn and peas, then some grated cheese, and the very last layer is of sick potatoes. It's a very crunchy bite. Hi, my name is Lentonette and I'm from Norway. In Norway, a common hot dog topping is a creamy shrimp salad, mustard and ketchup. It sounds weird, but it's a favorite of many. It's basically a surf and turf. My name is Hannah and I am from America on the West Coast. My favorite hot dog toppings are peanut butter and bacon. They're not the most common toppings, but I think that they are the best. Hi, I'm Elodie. And I'm Lily, and we're from this tiny island called Bermuda. The hot dog toppings that we wanted to share with you today are reminiscent of the Bermudian fish chowder. So we top the hot dogs with salted codfish, tomato sauce, cherry peppers, and avocado. And then we put it all on a bun with mayonnaise. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Natalia. I am from Santiago de Chile. And my favorite hot dog, it's called Completo Dinamico. It has like the typical, the bread, and you put the tomato, then you put the avocado or palta, and you put a layer of what we call chucrut, but it's sauerkraut, and then on top you put salsa americana, and then some uh, homemade mayonnaise, if possible. And that's my favorite. Like, I think the sweetness of the tomato with the acidity of the rest is just delicious. Hi everyone, my name is Anouk, and I live in Amersfoort in the Netherlands. Here we like to eat broodje knokworst with sauerkraut, pre-packaged crispy fried onions, and curry ketchup. It tastes the best after a day of ice skating in winter. My name is Garance, and I'm from France. My favorite bakery purchase for lunch as a teenager was what we call the hot dog à la française. Here, instead of a hot dog bun, we use a baguette, does the à la française, to which we add grainy mustard, bechamel, and Emmental cheese. Then we put all this under the broiler until it becomes this cheesy, melty goodness. It's pretty indulgent, and it really did make me want to sleep through my classes in the afternoon, but totally worth it, if you ask me. Hi, I'm Evanese, I'm from South Africa, and in our country, it's very popular to eat hot dog with a sauce that we call smoor, which is a tomato and onion relish, or sauce, if you'd like. My name's Mason, and I'm from Ohio in the USA. Ohio is the birthplace of Skyline Chili, a very delicious but divisive condiment that a lot of us either put on top of hot dogs with diced onions and shredded cheddar cheese, or some people put it on top of spaghetti with the same toppings. You either love it or you hate it in Ohio, and I'm on the team that loves it, and I hope you guys do too. My name is Karin and I live in Austria. In my home country, we like to put ketchup, a lot of curry powder, and finely chopped raw onions on our hot dogs. We call this dish Bosna and it is a common street food here. Enjoy your meal, or as we would say, Anguin. My name is Jose, I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. My favorite three toppings that Venezuelans put on hot dogs are avocado, uh, grated cheddar, and corn sauce. In Venezuela, you can get the best hot dogs ever, and you can put like almost everything on it. So, great view from Caracas, see you, bye. We have now come to the tasting portion of this episode. 11 different hot dogs, one stomach. <laughs> Let's do it. Starting with the Brazilian dog, I loved the corn, mayonnaise, and peas salad that went on top of the hot dog. And with the little french fries, it was super crunchy. All of the different textures, this hot dog was amazing. Definitely would make again. The South African hot dog was the most simple, I think, of all of the preparations, but I really liked the tomato and onion jam as opposed to just having like ketchup on your hot dog. It had more flavor, it was tangier, a little bit sweeter, and just kind of, you know, different in a really good way. 
shrimp salad on a hot dog works. I just, I don't know why it worked. I think because the shrimp salad was creamy with the mayonnaise and shrimp flavor is not that strong. I mean, like, would I make it again on my own if I was just like, hey, let's have a barbecue. I don't think I would be like, let me bring the shrimp salad, but it also does work. The hot dog a la Francaise, I will say, is one that I would prefer to buy rather than make again. I was so stressed while everything was broiling, but the flavor of it was good. It was like a volcano inside and I definitely burned my tongue. But like when I am in France, I will be purchasing it first thing. <laughs> Sauerkraut is my one true favorite topping on a hot dog, so already love it. The crunchy onions, they are my favorite. I have a whole tub of them and I stand by them. But the curry ketchup, I have never had it before. I don't know why they don't sell it in America like pre-made, but just by putting a little bit of curry powder in my ketchup, I was able to make it and it was amazing. Just ketchup elevated. I had never heard of corn sauce before I made this, and when I looked it up in Venezuela, you can buy it in a jar or like a, a bottle. I had to make it myself. The recipe was super basic. Mine might have been a little chunkier than a store-bought kind. It was still really good. It was kind of like, 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 cre like cream of corn if that was a sauce. And I kind of had something similar to that on the Brazilian hot dogs, so the two hot dogs were pretty similar, and I liked it. I don't think I've ever had sliced tomato on a hot dog before, but it totally worked. My favorite part was actually that salsa, which was pickled carrots and cucumbers, and I don't even remember what else I had in there. I absolutely loved it. Bacon and peanut butter on a hot dog. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Bacon and a hot dog, yes, I totally get it. I've had bacon wrapped around a hot dog before, delicious. The peanut butter, however, you know, it's like, Bacon and peanut butter, yes. Hot dog and peanut butter. I just don't know if it worked for me, but you know, don't knock it till you try it. I don't know how I've gone my entire life without having a chili dog. It feels like an American classic. And as a lover of both chili and hot dogs, I don't know why I never put them together before. Absolutely loved it. The raw onions are definitely a must. Having two different recipes that used curry powder on a hot dog is very cool because you kind of get to explore it in different ways. Curry powder is just not something that I had ever thought to bring to like a grill out, but now I am converted and I just love the simplicity of the white onions and the curry powder. It's a very, very good combination. The concept of seafood on a hot dog, it's still just very interesting to me. And this one really reminded me of the Norwegian hot dog. I loved all of the elements and they were all really delicious together, but it also wasn't like the easiest hot dog to make. Getting salted cod wasn't just available at my store next to my house. So would I make it again here? I don't know, but if I was in Bermuda, I would definitely order it. Which hot dog looked the best to you? If there is a topping that we need to be trying, leave it in the comments. I think we should do french fries next. My email address is in the description. Email me the two or three toppings from your country that make french fries shine. And I will respond to those who I want to be in the video with. With that, I will see you all in the next video. Happy hot dogs. That was weird. <laughs>